I can't believe I'm on day 11. I'm actually doing this. This really is giving me hope for self-tape May. Let's see what's behind door number 11. I'm doing self-tape practice every day until Christmas and I filled out this advent calendar with different scenes and monologues from TV shows and movies that are Christmas themed. I'm setting a 15 minute timer to prepare it and then after that I just do a few takes and I show you what I believe are the best ones. And if you're doing any kind of self-tape practice or acting practice during December month, let me know because I think it's such a good idea, at least for me. I feel like this time of year is the absolute slowest as far as auditions and acting jobs and like passion projects. It really just feels like everybody just wants to pause and enjoy family time. But for some reason, I convinced myself that I should do acting practice every day. Well, I know the reason. I just don't want to be rusty once I start auditioning again because I've been booking a lot lately and I just want to keep that rhythm. You'll see my audition tracker soon. At the end of the year, I usually post a video where I show you all of the auditions that I did in a tracker, which ones I booked, which ones I didn't book, where I got them from, what kind of auditions they were, everything. I just want to keep the rhythm going, okay? I want to keep booking. So let's see what's behind door number 11. White Christmas. I need a reader for this. I just texted one of my close friends to see if he's willing to be a reader for me. If my friend says no, I'm just gonna do some kind of text to speech or something. I know it's gonna sound bad, but I just don't wanna bother somebody. So I'm putting a 15 minute timer. I'm gonna prepare this and let's see if my friend replies. She'll never get involved with anyone until I'm married. Or okay, nobody's replying in like the time frame that I want so I can move on. So I'm gonna text them, Never mind. I found this text to speech reader and Judy, unless I get myself in gate. I guess that is the end of that. I'm just gonna use this. Now that I have it recorded, both friends just texted me back saying like, hey, we can help you. But at this point, I'm like, no, I just, I don't wanna bother you. One of them is with friends and the other one is just chilling and I just don't wanna bother them. See, I feel like such a bother. Oh my God. Anyways, we're gonna talk to my robo boyfriend. I'm not sure if I've ever seen White Christmas. I think I saw it once a long time ago, but Judy, I think it's Judy. Judy's trying to get engaged with Mr. Davis um, as like pretend, but she really means that she wants to get engaged. Is this gonna be so bad? <laughs> listen, listen to the lines. Even if it made any sense at all, there is nobody around here. I mean, it's okay, okay? It's it's fine. We're gonna do it. Let's do some takes. Let's, let's... <laughs> this is good practice for when... A partner is giving me nothing in a scene because this guy's almost giving me nothing. Take one. She'll never get involved with anyone. Never. <sighs> Unless <laughs> that feels really rough. I don't know how it looks because I'm like, because I'm, I'm, I didn't know. Let me try to explain what's happening in my brain because I'm trying so hard to like engage with this voice. And also I'm using this as my, oops. I'm using this as my eye line just so I don't keep looking at him and he's moving around. This is the face I'm looking at and that's the voice I'm listening to. <laughs> I'm just really letting it get to me a little too much. Okay, let's try one more. Let me try it. Let me try it a little less like natural and just try and forget about the lines and more of just like the attitude. Modest. You're no, not a don't get any darn it. I'm gonna call it now. Here are the two best takes of that mess. <laughs> She'll never get involved with anybody unless I'm married or engaged or something. <sighs> I guess that is the end of that. Unless I get engaged or something fast. Well, that's ridiculous. Even if it made any sense at all, you're up here in the wilderness. Um, there is nobody around here. I don't know. <laughs> oh, be realistic. Who could you find up here to get yourself engaged to? Well, I suppose it should be somebody I know. Well, that always helps. And it's, of course it's gotta be a man. It's an absolute must. Oh, no, no, I mean like a mature man, somebody that's talented, Talent, has experience. experience, witty, engaged, handsome. Witty, engaged, charming. Mm. Oh, sure, where are you going to find such a superman? Well, don't be so modest. Honey, guys like that don't <laughs> me. Well, you're not exactly Superman, but you're awfully available. Now, don't get any idea, Judy. I'm not the marrying kind. <sighs> it's just an engagement. Well, I'm not the engaging kind either. Then what kind are you? I'm, uh, more the I don't mind pushing my best friend into it, but I'm scared still when I'm anywhere close myself kind. <laughs> 
Come on, it's just for a few days. How bad could it be? You do like me, don't you? Sure, I do. <laughs> She'll never get involved with anybody unless I'm married or engaged or something. I guess that is the end of that. Unless I get myself engaged or something real fast. Well, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Even if it made any sense at all, you're up here in the wilderness. There is nobody around here. Oh, I don't know. Oh, be realistic. Who could you find up here to get yourself engaged to? I suppose it ought to be somebody I know. Well, that always helps. And it's got to be a man, of course. It's an absolute must. Oh, no, no. I, I mean a mature man. Someone with talent and experience. Talent and experience. Somebody that's witty and charming and attractive. And... Witty. Engaged. Charming. Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. Where are you going to find such a superman? <laughs> don't be so modest. Honey, guys like that don't me. Well, you're not exactly a superman, but you're available. Now... Don't get any idea, Judy. I'm not the marrying kind. It's just an engagement. Well, I'm not the engaging kind either. Well, what kind are you? I'm, uh, more the I don't mind pushing my best friend into it, but I'm scared still when I'm anywhere close myself kind. Okay, well, it would just be for a few days. How bad could it be? You do like me, don't sure you? I do. <laughs> okay.